okay hi all welcome back once again today uh, we'll see another interesting video on uh, J meter today I'm going to tell you about uh, the use of transaction controller and constant throughput timer and how you can use both of them to achieve the throughput that you need during your test right so when I say throughput it is basically the number of samples or number of transactions you want to hit uh, per second so I have already configured a small thread group which has two requests so where does transaction controller comes into play if these two API requests belong to the same page let's say you log in and you do one uh, transaction on the page like you click on something and that uh, those are two APIs which gets it right so likewise uh, just for example I have configured two APIs uh, for time being you can think that this is something like a uh, you know, uh, page hit wherein two APIs are called one after the other right so it is the flow I just configured it to show how it works now let's say these two APIs are related to one page hit okay so I need to uh, you know put those two APIs under that particular transaction because I do not want to see the time taken for API call because the API call also can be a internal call so you are doing a button click but instead it calls two APIs so it can be your internal call so for that matter I want to see the high level time taken like both these calls how much time is taken uh, for the page to come up so in those cases I add up a transaction controller so once you add the transaction controller you can move these two APIs under that transaction controller I'll do a copy and paste into this transaction controller right so I have both the APIs which are cover which I have captured into this I can remove this too for time being okay select and then remove both of them because I have already copied them inside the transaction controller now you can choose uh, the time taken now where do you want to capture the time maybe if you want to see the time at the higher level like let's say this is these two API calls are for a particular page hit and I want to see the time for that page hit so uh, I'll name it as transaction one okay and I have two APIs, API calls at this transaction now let me add the timer which is constant throughput timer so here is some calculation that you have to do uh, probably uh, you can use your uh, notebook or something to do the calculations and then uh, put the values here okay so let's say I'm trying to achieve one TPS one transaction per second so uh, it is samples per minute like, so if I'm trying to achieve one transaction per second that means I'm trying to achieve 60 transactions per minute now I have two APIs so in the throughput timer I'll have to say uh, if we do a very basic calculation so I'm doing this uh, just to show you how do you do it uh, at a high scale we have to say 10 different calls for particular transaction so how we calculate so you have 10 samples uh, in my case I have two samples I want one DPS which is basically 60 transactions per minute and I have two samples so 60 into 120 samples per minute right so I go back I say I want to achieve 120 transactions per minute so these two samples get called 60 60 times 6 then calculate throughput based on this thread only or if you have multiple threads you can uh, choose active uh, all active threads or whichever thing you want to configure but I have just one thread so I am just saying this thread only right so now I say this and then I just add uh, aggregate report to see how exactly are uh, you know I will go back to the thread group uh, where I have said uh, like one thread uh, ramp up time one second I will just increase it to two because I don't think that this uh, the APIs which I have configured are example APIs and that might not support higher thread so I will uh, do it for 
two plates and one two seconds and i run it for let's say five minutes so 300 seconds uh, this is all about my regulation i come here and uh, make sure it's time for you to start your execution then the just uh, is going to break uh jail if you have not started the and like so i have started the execution now uh if you look at it i have two samples but you see only transaction a transaction level you are simply uh kind of uh the time of the second for transaction right and root is two per second so each one is being one one time per second so this is how you control or use transaction ruler and throughput time to get the achieved result hope you can make use of this in your test and make the test better thank you for watching